Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I've had this idea for a while to show a mini series on how I film my AGSMs, how I edit them on iMovie, how I make my thumbnails and my end cards, and how I upload my videos. So today I'll be showing you how I film my AGSMs and what equipment I use. So let's get started. So when you film an AGSM, you're going to have to have a script. Here's an example of the script I'll be using in this video. Usually my scripts are way longer though, but I'll just be doing a mini little AGSM today. Now I'll be showing you what equipment I use to film my AGSMs. The camera I use to film for my AGSMs is a Canon Rebel T6. It is a great camera to use. I also use this mini tripod for my first floor filming. I also use this camera clicker to take my photos. It's a real good piece of equipment to use because if you keep on taking your photos manually by pressing the button on the camera, your whole stop motion will come out shaky. So this helps the camera stay in place and your video won't come out shaky. I also use a ring light for filming my AGSMs. You'll also need a doll or dolls to film an AGSM, and I'll be using Sage. I also know that sometimes you don't have the motivation to film. Don't worry, because sometimes I don't either. So to feel motivated, I always listen to some music. Or I watch a show on Netflix sometimes. Now let's get to the filming part. First, find a good angle to film at. Also make sure that the lighting is good for filming. I usually like to put my iOS at 800. It's perfect lighting so it's not too bright or too dark. And now you're ready to film. Remember to make your doll's movements really tiny because the tinier the movements, the smoother that your video will come out. Also, I just want to say that I don't really know how many photos to take for a piece of dialogue. I kind of just guess. For example, I would take a couple of photos, and then without moving the camera, I would look at the photos and play them while saying my piece of dialogue. If I don't have enough photos for that piece of dialogue, I would just take a few more photos. And then I would play all my foes again while saying my piece of dialogue and test it out. Remember, in iMovie, you could always delete some extra foes that you have in your stop motion. And once you've taken enough foes for your stop motion, you are done filming. So in my next video in this series, I'll be showing you how to make a thumbnail and how to make an end card to put at the end of your videos. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!